thank me, Raiden. Our battle changed you. For the better. deny. The truth I was cast out for speaking. The truth I embrace, Shinnok, is that mercy is wasted on those who defile Earthrealm. I will destroy our enemies before they destroy us, starting with you. <laughs> Not even you can kill an Elder God. There are fates worse than death. Once again, the Thunder God has upset the balance of history. But know this. The arc of the universe bends to my will. It is only a matter of time. As you were. For 25 years, the special forces have been Earthrealm's sword and shield. We've pushed back Shao Kahn, defeated Shinnok, yet none of our victories have come without cost. Recently, Commander Jackson Briggs was honorably discharged. His wounds, both physical and psychological, left him no longer fit to serve. We honor Jackie's father, and we honor his sacrifice by doing what he would do, tirelessly defend Earthrealm. Sergeant Cage, step forward. Your leadership and warfighting ability have earned you promotion to commander. But there are no family favors here. By special forces tradition, you still have to pass one last test. I need to kick the CO's ass, ma'am. Your ass, ma'am. All right then, Sergeant. Let's see if you can take me.
Commander Cage, reporting for duty. Congratulations, Commander. Come on, Dad. You really have to go? Well, you've got your duty, Commander, and I got mine. Starring in yet another Ninja Mime sequel isn't what I'd call duty. I need to provide for you in the manner to which you've become accustomed. Jeez, guys, I'm right here. General Blade, Cassandra Cage. What is it, Raiden? The Nether Realm. We should open a dialogue. Maybe there's an explanation. Liu Kang and Katana were friends once. They are irreparably polluted by Shinnok's evil. They are no longer the champions we once knew. We must strike them preemptively. It's about time we brought the fight to them. What's the target? Buried deep beneath Liu Kang and Katana's castle is the Cathedral of Shinnok, the seat of their power. Destroy it, and their undead army will fall, removing its threat to Earthrealm. Aren't your powers weaker in the Netherrealm? Yes, but I will have sufficient strength to occupy the undead army. That'll buy us enough time to infiltrate the Cathedral, destroy it from the inside. We get pinned down in there, there's no way out. To ensure Earthrealm's survival, we must all be willing to sacrifice. Uh, you know, it's been two years too much of your grim and gritty makeover droning on about sacrifice. You don't have a family to lose. I know loss, Johnny Cage. Raiden's right, Johnny. We're not ready for another war. We've got to take out Netherrealm's army now, before Liu Kang can bring it here. We're in position. Hope Raiden's planned one hell of a diversion. Withdraw, or feel the wrath of Earthrealm's protector!
Raiden get this far? Eliminate him. That burn victim's cabal? Wasn't he Kano's goon back in the day? Don't let the scars fool you. He's fast. Take out him and Jade. I'll go downstairs and set the C4. Roger that. Jackie, where's Jade? She bailed. Getting help, I'm sure. General, how we doing? Need ten minutes. The support columns are further apart than expected. You need help? Negative. Just watch our back. Ten more minutes. We need it to be taillights in five. Well, we're in the shit now. We have extra C4, yeah? Yeah, why? Let's buy ourselves time. Lock and load. Empress of the Dead. I've not forgotten our last encounter in the Sky Temple. How are your scars healing?
She's trapped, Cassandra Cage. Now the Chosen One has fallen. Raiden's right. Whatever Shinnok did to you, you're a lost cause. <laughs> Fuck. You. General, can you hear me? General! Mom! I'm here, Cass. Hang tight, we'll get you guys out! <laughs> They're gone. Cass. And I'm not gonna make it. What? I'm not leaving you behind! That's an order. Your duty. Mine's to finish the mission. Mom, no! We can save you! I love you, Cass. <coughs> Give your dad a kiss for me. sequence. Override it, Jackie! There is no override. Commander! <clears throat> Our orders are to leave. God, you're back. How did the mission go? gods here to taunt us? No, Kitana. I am much more. Behold. What power is this? I am Kronika, Keeper. Soul therein. 
I've carefully crafted them to keep the realms in balance. But my work's perfection has been irreversibly tainted by Raiden's actions. The two of you have felt that pain most acutely. What can be done? The past is the past, is it not? It need not be. I intend to wind time back to its beginning and restart history. But even with my vast power, I cannot create this new era alone. How will this new era be different? In many ways. But most importantly, there will be no Raiden. How do we begin? escaped my justice, sucked dry the bounty of Outworld's people. Today, your debt is paid. Kill me, Kotal, and you lose profit. You mistake me for Shao Kahn. I do not inflict bandits upon the poor. Shao Kahn approved. His word was law. Your master is dead. So is his law. Never again will Outworld suffer from his corruption.
Raiden? Shao Kahn? General Koto? Koto Khan. Khan? Pathetic fool. You pretend to my throne. It is mine, by right and deed. You were killed long ago, as was your repugnant spawn, Melina. We were at the Mortal Kombat Tournament. Kung Lao had just defeated Shang Tsung and Quan Chi. We are decades beyond those events. For us, they happened only moments ago. What game are you playing, Raiden? What magic powers this delusion? If it is a delusion, it is one we all share. Is it possible that the past and future are colliding? Katana, Baraka, Scarlet, all outworld champions long since gone. If you have all returned, has... I am here, Kotal. Jade. Ashtek Custom requires all refugees be offered assistance. I offer it to you, Shao Kahn. I am no refugee. I am Khan of Outworld. Vacate my throne, or I'll soak these sands with your blood. <laughs> What do we do? I have not met Kodal, but he is reputed to be a man of honor. It's true. I know him well. Then we must navigate this crisis by aiding him. Takatans are dead. Impossible. They allied with Melina against me. Persist, and you will die again. <laughs> Filthy Takatan. turned assassin. Better to thrive in Shao Kahn's court than starve in the streets. You, Oshtek, may practice blood magic, Kotal, but I am the master. Pride will be your downfall. Kotal. I thought you were dead. What happened to you? Shao Kahn betrayed me. Ambushed my legion. I was kept alive for Shang Tsung's experiments. Only when he died was I freed. Seeing you again makes it worth living this nightmare. I will not lose you twice. Go help the Earthrealmers. I will deal with this. Your future self is ally, not enemy, Aaron Black. <laughs> to hell with the future. I live in the moment. Given who you become, I would not have thought you so reckless. <laughs> I will have my throne. 
Outworld rejected your pointless wars. Empires must expand or die. <laughs> Your conquest served you alone, not Outworld's people. You are Khan no more. Stranger days. Kotal Khan, I am Raiden, protector of Earthrealm. I know you. We are acquainted in your era. We were allies who became enemies. I am surprised, given our shared antipathy toward Shao Khan. Everything changed after your defeat of Shinnok. Shinnok's defeated? Our realms joined to fight him. But in victory, you were hardened. To protect Earthrealm, you lashed out at all realms you deemed threats. That cannot be. My Raiden wears Shinnok's amulet as a symbol of his fury. Be assured, Kotal Khan, I am not that Raiden. We have common cause, both in solving this temporal crisis and in defeating Shao Kahn. Agreed. Liu Kang, Kung Lao, and I will return to Earthrealm and learn what temporal anomalies have occurred there. We must better understand the phenomenon we are experiencing. I will have my scouts track Shao Kahn. So, this is goodbye. Only goodbye for now. I can't leave while Shao Kahn threatens Outworld. I must seek justice for what he did to my family, and to all Adinia. I will come back for you, to aid you, Princess. Questions, Devora. I routed your people, burned this hive, yet you aid me. We can't trust her, Excellency. Kotal Khan did, and she betrayed him to Shinnok. Kotal Khan. How is it I'm dead and he sits on my throne? You tried merging Earthrealm into Outworld. The Elder Gods intervened, and Raiden killed you. That's when Melina became Khan. After this one killed your daughter, Kotal claimed the throne. You killed Melina? If this is true, you will die! Devora is under my protection, Shao Khan. As are you. I am Kronika. The legends are true? I am displeased with how history has unfolded. So you broke time? I stopped time. I enlist all those who disdain the current course of history. By merging past and present, we may draw upon allies from both eras. How will fighting your battles benefit me? I offer a greater empire in the new era, Shao Kahn. Raiden will not exist to thwart you. You can wipe Raiden from history? It is an immense task, requiring great power and effort. My hourglass requires protection while I work. Will your outworld armies defend it? They shall.
swear to God I'm losing it. Can't someone, anyone, explain to me what the hell is going on? Right? I've been in the future for a whole hour and I haven't seen one jetpack. Not one. So it is true. I walked a darker path. After Shinnok went down, you became a different person. Red lightning, black clothes, authoritarian attitude adjustment. Yeah, about that. What happened to Dark You? Hmm? How come you're an only child and I got an evil twin? As an immortal, I exist outside the normal laws of time. That could explain why I am affected differently. Thanks. Weird, isn't it? Not being in charge. That's what's weird? That and having daughters our age. Look at her. How do I have a kid with him? <laughs> at least she's not an actress. Come on, at least think about it. We each get points off the gross. Coming this summer, Johnny Cage and Johnny Cage. In time, Quake. Any thoughts on what we do next? For months, I've been receiving vague premonitions of the future, but none of them foretold this. I must confer with the Elder Gods. Liu Kang, Kung Lao, please assist the Special Forces while I am gone. Yes, Lord Raiden. Follow me. Commander? Yes, Mom. I mean, General. I mean... This is strange for me, too. You have no idea. What? Uh, how do I say this? This morning, we were on a mission. And, and you gave your life to save it. Son of a bitch. Seriously? Yeah. And now here you are. Young enough to be my sister. Cass, you need to see this. Safi'd show another realm incursion at the Wuxi Academy. Nether realm? Taking out Shinnok's temple was supposed to stop them. It's got to be the time anomaly. We must help our Shaolin masters. Why would the Nether realm want to bust up your alma mater, Liu Kang? The Dragon Grotto. It's underneath the academy. Earth realm's Jinsei energy bubbles up in its springs. That's no good. We've seen firsthand what happens when the Nether Realm screws with Earth Realm's life force. They will not reach the grotto. It is protected by powerful magic, the deadliest traps. I am sure our counterparts from your era are already dealing with them. Kung Lao, Liu Kang, you might want to sit down. I die in the Colosseum. You on a rooftop fighting Lord Raiden. Our future, Liu Kang. It is insane. Obsessing over it will not change it. Neither will accepting our destiny as evil undead warlords. I'm not. But we can't change a future we don't fully understand. Lord Raiden will guide us. Can we trust him? It appears he got us both killed. disarm these traps. Do you know how? The monks never taught me. More likely you did not attend class. Watch for the pattern. And pick your moment.
Easy enough. What's next? Everything. Poison gas, shooting spears, flame jets. How about we avoid those? I did not do that. I did. Scorpion. Of course you survived the time merger. You will not stop Kronika from restoring my family and clan. If Scorpion doesn't kill us, his traps will. Find a way to shut them down. Let's see whose fire burns hotter. Your fire is out, Scorpion. I can't stop them. Restoring my family and clan. Can you stop the traps? I learned my lesson fighting you at Shang Tsung's tournament. This time, I am prepared. I can't stop the traps. The locks have been changed. You cannot turn us against him. We know about our deaths. They were caused by our mistakes. You have been deceived, Liu Kang. The truth is, Raiden murdered you. Raiden killed you because you stood in his way. You lie, Jade. You will not test my faith. Mistakes, but he doesn't murder his followers. Is it not murder to send an ill-prepared warrior to his death? Raiden's mistake cost your life, Kumal. I like the real you better. through there what if the next revenants we have to fight are us then we fight them Kung La. elder gods I have come to seek counsel the realms are in crisis. The crisis is grave indeed, Raiden. Every being will be erased in a temporal Armageddon. Even we Elder Gods 
Already our power weakens. I will fight Cetrion. But how? You must find Kronika's key and gain control of her hourglass. Only then will time's momentum be restored. It will be done. Speak your mind, Raiden. Since this time merger, I have learned about my future. That my champions fall. That I become a tyrant. If Kronika is defeated, will I be consigned to this grim fate? The restoration of time will not predetermine your destiny. That is for you to shape. asking you to put those back? They said you'd come. Who said? Who do you think, Kung Lao? Welcome to your future. Courtesy of Raiden. Our future may be tragic, but it's not Lord Raiden's fault. You've both been warped by Shinnok's evil. Shao Kahn snapped my neck in the arena. Raiden saw it coming and did nothing. I would have defeated Shao Kahn, but Raiden wanted the glory. His lightning cut me down. No, I don't believe that. One day Raiden will betray you. Then you will believe. You spew Shinnok's lies. You attacked Lord Raiden, and he defended himself. He did what he thought right to protect Earthrealm. Protect? Raiden enslaves Earthrealm. How was I ever so blind as you? Unbalanced. How did I get so deluded? Then you will believe. The thought of becoming you sickens me, but I won't blame Raiden. You owe Kronika. She saved your life by stopping time. You shame our family name. Is it me, or could they be telling the truth? Worry about it later. We have bigger problems. You should have listened to your Revenant counterparts. With this power, Kronika will remake history. That was easy. interest in you. It's why she recruited your revenant self. Serve her. She will bless you.
Fetch the Jinsei, Chosen One. You're good, but you're no great Kung Lao. You've met my ancestor? He stood a chance against me. You have none. You Shaolin monks exceed your reputation. I respect your spirit, but Kronika's will must be done. to let them live. If they die, their revenant selves will cease to exist. We need them to defend the keep. Yet again, Liu Kang, you've chosen the wrong destiny. Realm's undead army will protect the keep as I work. Shao Kahn, when will you deliver the Outworld army? Soon. It will be mine once Kotal is killed. And what is your progress, Sector? The Cyberling Quay factory is modified to your specifications. Production exceeds projections. Lord Raiden, what did the Elder God say? We must find Kronika, wrest the control of history from her. If we succeed, our destiny can change. So what we were told is true? You were... involved in our deaths? Yes. Had the timeline continued, my decisions would have led to your deaths. But the Elder Gods assure me that such a future is not inevitable. This is but one of many possible timelines. That is a lot to take on faith. Rest assured, Kung Lao. I am aware now of what may come. I will not bring harm to either of you. You have my vow. Thank you, Lord Raiden. We must find Kronika's keep and strike it, as hard and as fast as we can muster, before all is lost. What have you learned about Kronika's effect on Earthrealm? We're tracking sites around the globe with major temporal anomalies. Picture's still fuzzy. Our kid's something, isn't she? We see no pattern so Oh, Cage. I'm not your Sonia. Sorry. Too easy to forget. We've prioritized info that correlates attacks from the Nether Realm with time anomalies. Helpful. But we have more to worry about than the Nether Realm. Yeah, we do. Grandmaster Sub-Zero reports heavy losses to his Lin Kuei clan. The Time Merger has resurrected his old enemy, Sector. Sector? Was he not the Grandmaster who years ago enslaved the Lin Kuei? That's him. He's reactivating and upgrading the same factory he built to convert the Lin Kuei into cyber-killing machines. Undoubtedly, to construct new and more powerful cyber Lin Kuei. Kronika may seek to co-opt them. What of Sub-Zero? Already on his way to shut down the factory. Grandmaster Hasashi is going with him. Grandmaster Hasashi? Hanzo Hasashi?
hearing is fearing, Sub-Zero. I recognized your footsteps, Hanzo. Where's Sector? I will not let him threaten my clan again. The old Cyber Lin Kuei factory was defunct, buried beneath this quarry. Until the time disruption. Now, Sector's returned and reactivated it. He's building an army by processing Lin Kuei warriors kidnapped from my temple. I can see why you need me. We could enter through that tunnel, but a frontal assault would be... Bloody. Needlessly dangerous. There's another entrance, less populated. And the rest of your plan? We get help on the inside. We'll avenge your clan. is your inside man. He was converted against his will. If we disable the behavior inhibitors that control him, he will turn on Sector. All Cyber Lin Kuei are linked to a common network. Cyrax can shut them down from within. Who is the woman? I don't know. Focus on disabling Cyrax. He's the key. We require additional candidates for cyberization. Once delivered, how long before the next generation is done? <laughs> Is this Kronika's doing? <laughs> 
her serve her Sub-Zero. We defend Kronika as she rewrites history. So you're nothing but pawns? We act to secure the Lin Kuei's glory in the new era. Take the others. More cyber Lin Kuei. You'll need a moment to initialize. <laughs> Sector, show yourself! For now, know we share the same goal, the Cyber Lin Kuei's destruction. We need your help, Cyrax. I can disable their communications network. It will shut down this factory and every Cyber Lin Kuei connected to it. So cool. 
Quanchi would slaughter mine. He should have killed you as he promised. Now I finish what he could not. <laughs> For Haromi and Satoshi. I'm in. I'll reformat the system drives and shut us all down. Goodbye, Kuai Liang. It is not the end. I will find a way to restore you. Anything is possible. Hanzo and I are living proof. Please, don't bring me back as a machine. I can't live like this. Machine or man, you have a warrior soul. As long as I am Grand Master, the Lin Kuei will welcome you. Then until we meet again. Kranika will get all the service she needs. But I can't quite a fee until I know the job. You will see. Can you restore him? Frame damage. Circuitry looks good. It looks like someone did a software wipe. Fixing that won't come cheap. Once he is repaired, can he be replicated? Hundreds of times. Thousands. That's a tall order. But anything's possible. With the right help. Serve Kronika, and she will provide. Take the deal. Trust me. Otherwise, who can you trust? You weren't kidding. It's like a mirror reflecting the past. How about that? Over 50 and still a ripper. <clears throat> There's still the matter of our fee. We get paid in the new era. Kronika will make sure the Black Dragon come out on top. Not only in the black market, in every market. Right then, let's get to business. Read your dad yet, kid? The network's still down. I hate being so far away. Dad must be climbing the walls. Be patient. You'll get through. I know my dad's still alive, but... It's like I'm seeing a ghost. You and me both. But they aren't ghosts. Oh, they're definitely real. Can this get any more bizarre? Come on.
Jackson Briggs. Do not fear. I have come to offer you a new life. A better life. That's awfully generous, seeing as we never met. We have not met. But I know you. How valiantly you have served. How horribly you have suffered. That was not my plan for you. Your plan? You were to retire distinguished. Not in disgrace. Years from now, General Jackson Briggs. More importantly, your daughter was not to serve, nor endure the same tragedies you have. Your home should be filled with grandchildren. Help me, and it will be. The Tarkatans, long extinct, have also returned. Shao Kahn will seek them out. He relies on their power. Kotal scouts tracked a Tarkatan war party to the Kai Tin's lost hive, Devorah's ancestral home. Her hand in Shao Kahn's escape makes that our starting point. Please advise me of what you learn. I must consult with the Elder Gods. When do we leave? Your duty lies elsewhere, Princess. I need you to enlist Queen Shiva. Her support is critical against both Kronika and Shao Kahn. Surely you can... Queen Shiva does not trust me. No Shokan has since my bloody battle with Goro. Shiva's always respected your opinion more than anyone's. When she hears you support Kotal, she'll join us. If that is my duty, so be it. Thank you, Princess. Are you my friend or his consort? It was my idea, Kitana. It's in your best interest. Succeed with Shiva and Kodo will pledge his loyalty to you. There's no bond more sacred to an Oshtek like him. I remember when we could ride like this alone. My life has changed as Outworlds come. Thankfully, you have not. You haven't changed much either, despite the years. You're still the same noble warrior I met in Shao Kahn's court. And now you're Khan. I'm surprised no woman has claimed your bed and become your queen. <laughs> Many have tried. Yet they failed. Why? None of them were you. There are fresh tracks leading into the hive. If Shao Kahn's in there, he'll be difficult to find. The tunnels are endless. Set fire to them. If he's hidden, he will be smoked out. Kotal, we don't know who else is in there. Katana's friendship for anything. It is pitiful you choose servitude. She and I fight side by side against Shao Kahn. His oppression cannot stand. <laughs> <laughs> when called for a higher purpose, we must serve. <laughs> You will 
bleed for your betrayal, Devora. This one acts only for the hive's survival. <laughs> to find Shao Kahn. Ghosts of my past. Devora spoke the truth. We are outnumbered. Give me a few of your best soldiers. We'll infiltrate the camp and search for Shao Kahn unseen. What you propose is dangerous. Of course it is. Shokan, Kolkata Trabakar. Wak Haka Turk, Waka Katarina Kotal Karak. Tohana, Takana, Aki Tarakata. Ne, ne. Trakati. No. Parga. It's all right. Parga Naraka. We won't harm you. Neti, Otono Kora. We're looking for Shao Khan. You exploit others to rise above your station. I have risen to my station, Jade. <laughs> Your heart has hardened, Kotal.
too late. Blame yourself for the Elder God's deaths, Raiden. Your actions have irrevocably altered Kronika's golden balance of light and dark. Shinnok's decapitation was the capstone. You are a paragon of virtue. You should wish evil vanquished. I abide my mother's will. You were begotten by Kronika. As was my brother, Shinnok. The darkness to my light. Nature demands equilibrium. Balance is perfection. You have stepped out of your role, made that balance impossible. That's why the new era holds no place for you. You will not succeed. Kotal Khan is captured, Raiden. The combined might of Outworld and the Netherrealm will keep your forces at bay, while my mother finishes her work. Do not underestimate Earthrealm's warriors. You are right to have been fond of these mortals. They were good souls. Man, these arms are an upgrade. It'll be payback time next time I see Ermac. Oh, I made sure he got his. Hmm. I imagine future me is out kicking ass with these right now. Cassie told you that future you spent time as a revenant, yeah? Sounded horrible. Can't imagine becoming Shinnok's puppet. But she says I come back from it. The experience haunted Dad. But then he, you, met Mom. She brought you back to life. The love of a good woman. Like the sound of that. She was Dad's everything. She died last year. Ever since Dad stayed on the farm, he feels safer there. Here's how you access incoming reports. Swipe here to cross check them with past reports. The software can suss out the deltas. Now that's progress. Mary Lieutenant Princess over there. Yeah, always had a thing for blondes. Ever since Susie DiNardo. Junior, Junior year. Take it from me. <laughs> you didn't miss much. That woman over there, she's the real deal. Oh, I got eyes, brother. As younger you, I saw him. You swear to tap that at the earliest opportunity. What? It's our destiny. Ah, 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 ah. How the hell do I ever sleep with that guy? Who's your father? I can't believe I just said that. Look, my dad isn't the Johnny you know. He grew up. I like to think you rubbed off on him. As a kid, I looked up to both of you. My dad? Your grandfather was my hero. Called me Private Pumpkin. Huh. That's what you called me. We should get back to work. Biometric verification required. ID verified. General Sonia Blade. General Blade? <laughs> Dad would be proud. Untwist your panties, older me. I'm a star. This is a military operation, not a movie set. I'm only the best fighter here, but your daughter's got me sitting at the kids' table. Our daughter is CO. A little humility might earn her respect. Dad always said, hungry people eat lunch, humble people serve it. Dad was an asshole. Hollywood made us. 
an even bigger one. An old man just kicked your ass. Get lucky. You left me behind? Excuse me? My final mission. How did you... Shit. No, I'm not doing this. Not now. Not with you. Damn it, Cassie. You abandoned me? I just saved the company. That was my order. Who the hell gave you that order? You did. Read the full report, Lieutenant. <laughs> Go to condition red! We're under attack! Repeat, we're under attack! yippee ki -yay, right? Follow my lead. Like Friday. The shot our face, Johnny. The shot our face. Ah, uh, he's gonna get us killed. saying howdy, partner. I was saying goodbye. Now, why is a nice Texas boy like Aaron Black in bed with the Black Dragon? Older you works for Kotal Khan. He's one of the good guys, kinda. When I pick sides, I pick a winner. Every time. <laughs> You chose poorly. Cassie! Sonia! Breathe, kiddo. They took mom. Sonia. I'll get her. Can we find out where they've gone? Tarmac B. On it. Q. 
Keep her safe. <laughs> online long enough for your friends to make it, Tinhead. Johnny Cage, Cyrax defeated you when you were younger and stronger. As I am his superior, I am yours. You're forgetting the time I beat Shinnok mano a mano. Oh wait, you were dead when that happened. Go back to the 90s. Who's next? I'm next, Hollywood. Back me wasn't bad enough. Oh, it gets bloody worse. Sonia and your little girl, they're gonna die right in front of your face. No one threatens my family. <laughs> Well, well. Got ourselves a full-on generation swap here. Don't think so. Between Ninja Mime and Lady Liberty, we've got all the leverage. We're leaving. And the base? Taken care of.
Let's go get them. Anyone else hear that beeping? Have I arrived too late? You're back in the nick of time. That's what I call a miracle. Yeah, Raiden. Thanks. Grandmaster Hasashi, I humbly request the Shirai Ryu's hospitality. My Sky Temple has been compromised. There is no safer place for us to gather. Lord Raiden, welcome to the Fire Garden. The Elder Gods are gone? Shinnok is Kronika's son? No wonder she sent the Black Dragon after me and Dad. We both kicked his ass. It is not vengeance that drives Kronika. She restarts history to balance light and dark among the realms. What can we do, Lord Raiden? Gather Earthrealm's forces. But that effort will be for naught if Kotal Khan's armies cannot join us. Cetrion informed me that Shao Khan has captured Kotal Khan. We must spare no effort to free him. Kung Lao and I will go. We will rendezvous with Princess Katana. Thank you both. May the Elder Gods protect... May you return victorious. You are passionate, Princess Katana. But I am not persuaded. Queen Shiva, haven't your people fared better under Kotal Khan than Shao Khan? In some ways. But we can only guess which Khan will prevail in this struggle. We gain no advantage choosing sides now. Princess! Liu Kang, why are you here? Kotal Khan has been captured by the Tarkatans. We must act quickly before he is executed. My people will not rally to a Khan held in chains. We have Earthrealm's support, Your Highness. With yours, we can guarantee victory. There is no path to victory without the Tarkatans. If they can be swayed to Kotal Khan, it would be to our advantage to join him. I will return, Queen Shiva, with the Tarkatans at my side. Together, we will march on Shao Kahn. you, Scarlet. Indian blood is most sweet, Your Excellency. It is also a rare commodity. Where are they taking him? To the Colosseum, no doubt. Then we attack now. We'll never sway Baraka to Kotal's side by taking the offensive. We must turn Baraka first, then attack Shao Kahn together. The Tarkatans won't grant an audience. Their instinct will be to attack. Not to mention Jade. At the first sign of trouble, they could kill her. I have an idea. Ja. 
guards here. gift for Shao Kahn. We wish to join his fight against Kotal. All those years, the clan's high and mighty daughter, now brought low by common soldiers, have you learned finally that you're no better than the rest of us? She is for Shao Kahn. We demand to see Baraka. You won't be seeing anyone. Liu Kang. You betrayed your father, Kitana. I was Shao Kahn's daughter by conquest. He stole a dinner from its rightful ruler, the father I never knew. Because your people and your bloodline were weak. There is more to power than conquest, Scarlet. As requested, zero casualties. Jade. Are you all right? We must find Baraka quickly to save Kotal. Baraka won't join us. Kotal's hate for the Tarkatans runs too deep. If I hadn't stopped him, Kotal would have executed them all. Yes! Kotal has made his intentions plain. <laughs> Baraka, please listen. No more Tarkatans need to die. Kotal Khan threatens all Tarkatans. In the new era, Shao Kahn will rule. Hear me, Baraka. I speak truth. <laughs> Jade, Liu Kang, Kung Lao, stand down. Speak. You've earned the chance. Shao Kahn has pitted Outworld's peoples against one another for millennia. And for what? The honor of dying in his wars? We must fight for each other, Baraka. Not with each other. Kotal wants us dead. He said as much to my face. Aid us, and I'll make sure you sit at Kotal's table. Which do you prefer, Baraka? To be Shao Kahn's slave, or Kotal Kahn's trusted ally? No one has ever made Tarkatan set an offer. But these are your words, not his. Help me save Kotal Khan. We'll ask him together. <laughs> he offers less. I'll slit his throat. If he offers less, Baraka, I'll help you. <laughs> You've suffered too long at this pretender's hands. But I've returned, and I will save you from his madness. Only I can rebuild the Empire. All realms will tremble before me. Outworld will again be conquerors, never the conquerors!
this boldness been hiding, Katana? Had you shown it before, I'd have had no need for Melina. My sister was an unholy monster. Exactly like you, father. <laughs> 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 Ungrateful shrew, born to privilege which you throw away. Who are you to judge me? You have not known cold or hunger. If you had, you would value the gifts Shao Kahn gave you. <laughs> Be grateful you still breathe. <laughs> Consequences. Surrender on the brink of victory. You're as feeble minded as Jared. King Jared, the father you murdered and stole me from. I wanted Jared's wife, not his heir. I kept you only to appease your mother. Do not expect mercy this time. Inherit your cruelty. Do you feel anything? Shao Kahn has crippled me, left me defenseless. Not while I am by your side. You would have me, even with my hardened heart? I know your heart. It can change. It is over, Kotal Khan. The throne is secure. Thank you. Baraka. Shiva. I have not served your people's well. Yet, still you aided me. I will not forget. We don't need charity. We will share an outworld's rule. But is up to her now. What? The throne is yours. You have united Outworld, Kitana Khan. She's now officially out of your league. I am humbled, Kotal. From this day on, may all our peoples fight together as one. The news from Outworld is indeed hopeful. 
but the location of Kronika's keep remains a mystery. It is beyond the realms, and has proven to be beyond my sight. Do you know of Karan, Raiden? Karan, of course. Who is Karan? Master of the ancient ship of the dead. Sub-Zero and I met him during our time as Revenants. He travels in the space beyond realms, transporting damned souls to the Nether Realm. If the keep lies there, Karan may know its location. Would he help us? It is possible, but I cannot be sure. I urge you both to investigate. We will leave immediately. Locking down Outworld's army is huge. But still, I'd feel better if we had more manpower. The Shaolin will join us. Liu Kang and Kung Lao travel now to aid the monks' preparations. Good. I'll be leaving soon to go after Johnny and Sonya. I'll go too. We're both going. No. Raiden needs you for an intel op. We need to get Sonya back. Undoubtedly. But Kronika's behavior makes it clear that while mighty, she is not all-powerful. Otherwise, why would she attempt to steal Jinsei? Think maybe she's still building strength? A distinct probability. Then what's her next move? With the Dragon Grotto's Jinsei Fountain sealed, there is no greater energy source in Earthrealm than the Well of Souls beneath Shang Tsung's island. Then we'd better go check it out. I regret that I cannot join you. I must keep vigil for signs of Kronika's further tampering with time. We all have our duty. I am told you defeated Shinnok, Cassandra Cage. You will defeat the likes of Kano, but proceed with caution. If either Johnny or Sonya die, you will cease to exist. It will be beyond my power to save you. Sonia's the skank who burns me? Uh, she more than burns you, Cabal. She goes black ops on your ass. Shocks, knives, the bloody works. Patched you back together myself. Well, most of you. She's dead. <laughs> Miss Law and Order really does that to him? Nah. But now he's motivated. You're ready for some preemptive vengeance. What the hell are you talking about, Cabal? You, torturing me to get dirt on the Black Dragon. Don't believe every rumor you hear. I'm done entertaining you clowns. Get in here, you cowards. Tempting love, but we think our next contender is a beaut. watching us fight? Like hell. You said it. They'll kill us whether we fight or not. Fighting buys us time to find a way out. So, quit being a diva. Hit me! Take 
to dive. No way. These people know dive when they see one. a thrill. Bag in the legendary Sonya Blade. Lieutenant! He needs a medevac. We're gonna have to fight our way out to the rendezvous. You'll need these. about this future, love? I'm alive, but you're dead as a doornail. Worst thing is, it's those Netherrealm stiffs did you in. Should have been me. Let's have ourselves a do-over. might be alive in this future, but that can change. Let me give you a break. Now this is a pickle. Can you break his neck faster than I can gut, pretty boy? Don't forget. It's two for one. He dies, so does your little girl. Thanks, Kano. For what? For reminding me of the rules.
Sweet moves. I'm totally stealing that one for time quake. How about uh, dinner sometime? You know, thank you for saving my life. And uh, apologize for being, well, me. No pressure, no romance. Patience is a virtue, Cage. No! 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 What is that? <laughs> Special guest villain. Gyrus. Kronika's goon. Allegedly, he can't be killed. I fought a dude like that in Fatal Infinity. <sighs> Get him evac'd. I'll keep this thing occupied. Sonia Blade. Mother of Cassie Cage. Yeah. What of it? Cassie Cage defeated Shinnok. Son of Kronika. I am his mother's vengeance. Stay away from my daughter. Try coming back from this. Okay. I'll be fine. I come from tough stock. Listen, what I said back at the base about the mission, it wasn't fair. You're a damn fine soldier. I'm so proud I can almost picture myself dating Johnny. Almost. I wish I could go back to our last mission over. It wasn't easy finding out how I'd die or could die, but I reread the file. You followed orders, saved your squad. I'm just glad that my sacrifice saved Earthrealm. And you. Besides, you heard Raiden. Things will never go back to what they were. We all have to choose our destiny. Kang and Kung Lao were kidding about this guy. All squads withdraw! Evac! Now! Gyrus failed. When he returns, I will strengthen him further for the final battle. Speak your mind. We've lost Shao Kahn, his outworld army, and now the Black Dragon. While Raiden's allies have burned precious time fighting Kano and Shao Kahn, our most important work has continued uninterrupted on Shang Tsung's island. That island is in ruins. What could possibly... Timecraft requires an abundance of raw temporal energy. Every mortal soul contains a lifetime of this power. Every hour, every minute, every second lived is stored within. Shang Tsung fed off souls. He collected them. In his well of souls, which remains untouched beneath his island. 
A destiny I crafted for Shang Tsung, in case I ever had need. Shang Tsung's souls will be mine. How's the view? No sign yet of the mystical barrier you mentioned. Oh, you'll know it when it comes. How you feeling? For the first time in a while, in control. I got tossed into the deep end of this world of gods and monsters. But now, knowing my future, I feel like I finally come up for air. Those bad things that happened to me, I mean, will happen to me, like Raiden said, it's gonna be different. Isn't this good news? The things that happened to my dad, that trauma he suffered, it's why my parents met. They fell in love while he was in recovery. If they don't happen, you and mom may not meet. I may never be born. Jackie, I, I can't pretend I get all this cosmic time stuff. But I do know you are here for a reason. You're not just some random accident. I hope so. Shang Tsung's Island. Here we go again. I was here for the tournament. There were people everywhere. These guys looked a lot younger. Seems like only yesterday. <sighs> Guess after Shang Tsung died, this place did too. Nobody's home. So much for needing stealth. Should have brought the whole squad. Kinda hoping Raiden's wrong about the Well of Souls. I don't want to be here longer than we... Multiple contacts. How many? Two, but one of them circling us real fast.
Kronika knew Raiden would send someone here. Give me ten seconds with this guy. Jax Briggs. We were partners under Quan Chi's command. You'll join me again. Got the wrong Jax. I haven't been a Revenant, and I never huh. will. Times are changing, Cabal. I'll take the speed fruit. We buried you in the nether realm. You a glutton for punishment? It's only you and me this time. There's no castle to bury me under. Think that hurt? You have no idea. I'm guessing that hurt worse. Kronika's work. Disturb. Try ending. You're done messing with the Well of Souls. You're not as strong as you think, Jax. As I recall, Sindel made quick work of you. I'll take the Lady in Green. time when you knew to fight for. But between Quan Chi and Kronika, your mind ain't right. I joined Raiden against Shao Kahn. He led me to my doom. Now Raiden leads you there, too. I'll take my chances with Raiden. Enough dancing with the dead. Raiden said this Well of Souls would be underground. This way. This is Goro's lair? Thankfully, mine is Goro. Shang Tsung kept me locked up here, back at my first tournament. Never thought I'd be back. Remember where a well of souls might be? I couldn't tell you. I was pretty beat up. It's all a bit hazy. I'm guessing this is it. That crown. Five bucks says it's Kronika's. It's drawing swords from the well. There's no way that thing's unguarded. Let's grab and go before whoever's on duty gets back.
I should know who that is. The first Sub-Zero. Scorpion ripped out his spine, left it in a heap upstairs in Shang Tsung's old throne room. An event of the new era will wipe from history. Hang on, Jackie. I got this. <laughs> Got that right. I'm just that tough. Guess Ermac's not the only one who's weak. Come on, let's get that thing and get out of here. Enough of this new era crap. You're not rewriting history. Who's writing history now? Come on, let's get that thing and get out of here. Yes. Dad, your your arms. Those look like Kronika's design. What are you doing? Giving you the life you deserve. By destroying the universe? Restarting it, not destroying it. Being a revenant. The years I lost. The things I did. Your ma held me together. But I was never the father you needed. You're talking nonsense, man. You raised a fine daughter. She's one hell of a soldier. She shouldn't have been a soldier. I never wanted you out there, taking those risks. If I hadn't fallen apart, you wouldn't have felt the need to enlist. That's not why I do this, Dad. Please! Give that crown to me. I don't want to hurt anybody. This is seriously messed up. Hang back, kid. I know I wouldn't want to fight my dad. How about we keep this between me, myself, and I? Never thought I'd stoop so low. You don't know how bad it gets. Losing your arms was just the beginning. I know you suffered. You still do. But you don't betray your unit. And you sure as hell don't betray your family. Time's up, punk. There's got to be a way to make this right. He's out, but he'll recover. How are you? Tripping. You? Ditto. We can't leave him. Let's get him and the Crown out of here. If I never come back here, it'll be too soon. I heard that. Mortal! Surrender Kronika's crown and the Elder Jackson Briggs. No harm will come to you. No deal. 
We know you betrayed the Elder God, Cetrion. Kronika must restore the balance that Raiden destroyed. Can you not see? He is the devil in these matters. At least he's the devil we know. Can we take an Elder God? Cassie beat Shinnok. Only because the cages are born with crazy magic powers. Maybe we have our own magic. Stand down, please. Resistance only ensures your suffering. What are you doing? Stand back. You don't know what this thing will do. That crown is meant for Kronika. Your human physiology cannot control its power. Only got to wear this thing long enough to beat you. Mission accomplished. I can't let you do I'm not discussing it. My mind is too frail to wield Kronika's weapon. For your own safety, remove it. It's not time for safety. It's time for action. Eat your heart out, Cassie Cage. Cannot control the crown. I did not wish to harm you, but now you have forced my hand. the crown and I will spare her don't don't give it to her go her life is in your hands nobody here wants to hurt anyone now please don't let this happen to our girl <laughs> damn it now bring Jackie back. Dad, how could you do this to me? I'm not doing this to you, Jackie. I'm doing it for you. I love you. Kronika awaits our return. Come on, this fight isn't over. This will bring us our deliverance. Thank you, both of you. I sense apprehension, Jackson Briggs. I'm not usually surrounded by so many friendly faces. We are unlikely allies, united for a common cause. Worry not. Liu Kang, Kitana, are the armies assembled? They're en route. Kitana and I will see that they arrive as planned. Excellent. As 
my strength gathers, the new era draws ever closer. The report from Jacqueline Briggs. Her father's actions have compromised our situation gravely. I know. I can't... I can't believe he did this. Even if we locate her keep, Kronika's power now likely exceeds the might of our combined forces. Maybe we should rethink using Shinnok's amulet. We cannot, Cassandra Cage. I've seen what you can do with it. You held off the entire Netherrealm army. You weren't even at full strength. I dare not risk the temptations of its stark power. Even now it calls to me. Despite Kronika's advantages, we must attack as soon as we know the Keep's location. It's been hours since we heard from the Grand Masters. What's the plan if they don't come back? They must, or else hope is lost. bound to caught on. It sails only by his command. That it's still moored suggests he won't help Kronika. In which case he may help us. like caught on his home perhaps hosting some unwelcome guests return to earth realm tell the others we found him we'll deploy as soon as i return are you certain Karon will aid us no but he's our best chance Causes. This one ensures the hive's survival. You will not save the Shirai Ryu. The Shirai Ryu will not fall. The clan of imposters will indeed fall. I've restored the Shirai Ryu. Built a clan that's never been stronger. On a foundation of pretenders and outsiders, Kronika told me. Shirai Ryu. Our clan's massacre extinguished them. 
Kronika will revive the true Shirai Ryu in the new era. Do not trust Kronika. She uses your anger to enslave you, as Quan Chi did both of us. I let go my rage, and it saved me. To save yourself, you must do the same. It's past time you were freed. We both know what truly drives you. It's not Shirai Ryu pride. It's your wife and child. Harumi and Satoshi were stolen from me. Murdered. Seeing them again is all that matters. We share this pain. I fought through hell to end it. But Kronika's new era is not the remedy. She would resurrect Shinnok, the same devil who brought death to our family and clan. He cannot be allowed to return. When I revived the Shirai Ryu, I vowed our clan would ensure Earthrealm's protection. Help me keep that promise. Your Shaolin masters, they're ready. They will fight until the last man. That is likely what it will take. There will not be a fight if Karon does not help us. Is there any word from Grandmaster Hasashi? No. If we do not hear soon, I will return to the Nether Realm. Wrong Scorpion. This cannot be good. Get Raiden. Fire gardens. They built. The Shirai Ryu are indeed restored. Why are you here, Scorpion? Where is Grandmaster Hasashi? He is dead. Now you have come to finish us. I understand your mistrust, but I am here to assist you. I find that impossible to believe. Fight. Scorpion. My future self is dead. I am here at his behest. Grandmaster Hasashi sent you. I honor his dying wish. Karan will ferry your armies to the Isle of Kronika. We must leave at once. Do you have proof of Karan's offer? Only my word. Your word is worthless. 
At the tournament, I trusted you to spare Bihar. And you betrayed me. A mistake born of rage. I seek redemption. Lie, Scorpion. You are a slave, and Kronika is your master. Fight! Raiden, you must listen. Spout your falsehoods elsewhere, Scorpion. Kronika will not entrap us. It is no trap. Karan awaits you in the Netherrealm. Lord Raiden, we should listen. He may be telling the truth. There is only one way to find out. <laughs> now, Scorpion, the truth! Raiden, stop this! Step aside, Liu Kang. Put down the amulet. Its darkness is taking hold of you. Our time has run out. I do what I must to save Earthrealm. Stay down! This is not the way. Scorpion is not the enemy this time. Liu Kang, do not interfere! Do not force my hand, Liu Kang. The realms hang in the balance. To defend them, I must command order. I thought it impossible, but the revenants were right. You cannot be trusted. I do not need trust. I demand obedience. Enough of your madness. If you must die, so be it. This, this has happened before. Interfere. You cannot fight Shao Kahn. <laughs> Liu Kang, stop! Enough of your madness. If you must die, so be it. <laughs> I have been a fool, Liu Kang. Kronika's puppet. We only battle because she wills it. I must help him. I was wrong to doubt you. I too have been a slave to anger. I do not understand, Lord Raiden. Your rage was caused by Kronika? Yes, I succumbed to her influence. But then, our confrontation, it unlocked memories. Memories not only from this timeline, but from timelines that have come before. Wait a sec, timelines? Plural? Kronika has restarted time on countless previous occasions, using each timeline to learn and to perfect her plan. The details of each timeline are different, 
But in each one, events conspire to bring Liu Kang and I into conflict. In each one, he dies. Only Kronika has such power to control time and fate. I don't get it. Why do that? I do not know. But be assured, Kronika will control us no longer. At long last, you see the pattern. The pattern, but not the purpose. Why set me against Liu Kang? Is it not obvious? Your combined power threatens my vision for the timeline. Liu Kang and I will not be divided further by your machinations. <laughs> oh, Raiden. Do you think this is the first time you made that vow? We have repeated this exact conversation so often in so many timelines. I have lost count. This timeline will end differently. We have played out all possible scenarios, Raiden. You cannot win. You are welcome to try, of course. But without Liu Kang by your side. Enjoy these final hours, Raiden. They are all you have. Liu Kang! Where is he? Kronika has taken him to her isle. We must leave immediately to save the realms. We must save Liu Kang. A new look? Just for me? You shouldn't have. What do you want from me? You will aid in my protection. Not like I have mastered Shinnok's sorcery. I will add your soul strength to mine, and finally avenge myself upon Raiden. My friends, Raiden's armies are coming. They will fight us, and they will lose. beyond the fog. My fairies cannot fight a war. This fleet is under my protection. If Karan falls, our fleet cannot sail. Protect him at all costs. Ramming speed!
I don't want to fight, but I've got to. For Jackie's sake and mine. Let me help you. Kronika's promises to you were a cruel deception. She is the mother of Shinnok, the architect of your revenant enslavement. But... No. She's Cetrion's mother. Cetrion is Shinnok's sister. In Kronika's new era, Shinnok will be the darkness to balance Cetrion's light. Which will only happen if the realms keep on fighting each other. What have I done? I'm a fool. It is not foolish to fight for your family's betterment. I'm sorry, Raiden. I promise to make this right. is impossible. Yours, inevitable. Your fate is decided. I will suffer you no more. unfortunate for you. The sea of blood is bottomless. You will fall forever. Now do I have your attention, Raiden? The warriors sinking your fleet are under my command. You have made a devil's bargain with Kronika, Frost. You ignored me my entire life. Kronika saw my talent from the start. <laughs> The good she could have done, in command of these Cyber Lin Kuei. She commands them, not Sector. If so, she is linked to them. They follow her thoughts. Then let them follow her to defeat.
Land ho! Time after time, Kronika's schemes have pitted us against each other. That cycle must end, Liu Kang. This time it will! Your power? Is this Kronika's gift? A gift to myself, say. You stole your own soul, perverted your own nature. It's a lesson you taught me, Raiden. To fight my enemies by any means necessary. I have conquered the darkness within me. You must do the same. You will have to kill me. I would rather save you. to Raiden. He is part of me, bound to my soul. He made me a god, for now at least. A god? Incredible. Now he's out of her league. My revenant counterpart. I have absorbed his knowledge of the Keep, of Kronika's plan. I know where to find the Hourglass. We can beat Kronika. Out of desperation comes invention. I had not thought it possible for Raiden to surprise me. Our success is no longer certain. We must make haste.
back? This means I'm sorry, Jackie. And hell yeah, I'm back. prevent Liu Kang's interference, but you will require more assistance. Whatever happens, I am honored to fight at your side. Likewise, Liu Kang. Me too, brother. May the Elder Gods protect us. Combining with Raiden has the benefit of novelty, but it is also too little, too late.
Earthrealm's Jinsei flows within you. Let it fuel your fire. No mistake. Your ego knows no bounds. I did not ask for this. It was thrust upon me. It should have been me, Liu Kang, from the beginning. Thanks to Kronika, it will be. <laughs> Still, you are alive. Yes, Kronika. You are right to fear mine and Raiden's powers combined. A demigod's power cannot rival that of an elder god. Cetrion! As you wish, mother. <laughs> Match me step for step. Because your heart is not in the battle, Cetrion. You fight for your mother's vision. But as a goddess of virtue, you know that her desired balance is folly. Heed me, Cetrion. He lacks our vision and wisdom. Please. No virtue is served by condemning the realms to endless war. The greatest virtue is abiding my mother's will, Liu Kang. I cannot fail. Fight! betrays you, Cetrion. I have failed you. Dearest Cetrion, you have done admirably. Yet there is one final service to perform. Yes, Mother. I understand.
You will be exalted in the new era, Cetrion. <laughs> There is only the new era! Fight. will not fight your endless wars. Fight me further and your friends are lost. They have no future unless I create it. The future you offer is not worth living. It will not come to pass. Fight! is finished, Liu Kang. Lord Raiden. I am merely Raiden now. You have proven worthy to take my place as Earthrealm's new protector, Lord Liu Kang. Where do we go from here? The sands of time are yours to shape. You must return the hourglass to the dawn of time and sculpt a new history, a better one. The fate of all realms in my hands? Raiden, I cannot do this alone. Yes, you will need a partner with whom you can share the eons. Kitana. Your destinies have always been intertwined. We are far in the past but not so far that I cannot reach her. Return with her to the dawn of time. 
sculpt the hourglass's sands to forge a better future. I look forward to meeting again in the next timeline. Then I will not say goodbye. Are you ready? Yes. But no matter how we sculpt the sands, we cannot plan for every possibility. Mortals will make their own choices. New evils will arise. Each realm must choose its own destiny. Whatever those choices, we will face them together. Once I gained the Hourglass, my first thought was to rewrite history and redeem the Lin Kuei's honor. But then I thought of Bi Han, his life consumed by evil. Before I could redeem my clan, I had to redeem my brother. With the Hourglass, I wound back time to our childhood. I studied every second of Bi Han's life to understand why. Why he embraced Sector's corruption. Why he reveled in the vile power given to him by Quan Chi. Armed with that knowledge, I re-sculpted the sands of time. I changed Bihan's life and unfroze his heart. Now we are comrades, not rivals. Together, as joint Grand Masters, we lead the Lin Kuei in defense of Earthrealm. I made my future self a promise that I would not stay mired in the past. But once I controlled the Hourglass, I could not keep that promise. I had to restore my family. Over and over, I crafted the sands of time. Yet in every new timeline, my family's tragedy repeated. I was powerless to change it. After eons, I learned the truth. Kronika was not alone. She was one of many titans, each more powerful and ancient than the Elder Gods. It is they who conspire against us. Myself, my family, we are pawns in the game. Why? I do not know. But I will find out. And then, I will have vengeance. What does it mean to wield the sands of time? To be the chosen one? It means making choices that break your heart. For the protection of all, I shared Kronika's power with the people I trust and love most. Together, we replaced the Elder Gods that Cetrion had betrayed and became eternal guardians of the realms. Still, my heart longs for a simpler life. A kind one cannot have being the chosen one, let alone an Elder God. What Kitana and I would not give for those simple pleasures. Hmm. Perhaps in another timeline, they could be ours. Kronika had manipulated me. In timeline after timeline, she stoked my anger and fed my arrogance, turning me against Liu Kang. My nose rubbed in my own fallibility. I was humbled. How could I be worthy to accept the mantle as Keeper of Time? I thought that to control time and destiny fairly, I must purge myself of all human emotion. Summoning the strongest magic, I burned away my fear and anger. All that remained was pure logic. But I learned quickly that the logical choice is often not the just choice, unless tempered by compassion and heart. 
Logic leads to decisions no better than those based on anger or fear. Now I am once more at time's beginning. But on this journey through history, I will infuse logic with love. In this timeline, I will finally achieve peace for the citizens of all realms. This whole adventure? Capital I insane. I marry Sonia? I have a kid who actually likes me? Inquiring minds want to know how the hell that happens. So I get the hourglass to show me how kicking Shinnok's ass, which I did beautifully, turned me from Hollywood megastar into global icon. So far, so good. Until I let that fame screw me up. Didn't hit rock bottom until I saw just how badly I'd let down my little girl. I finally got what old man me was saying about needing humility and maturity. But I also knew I couldn't get there without living the same life he did. So, I restored the timeline just as it was. With one tiny little difference. Sonya's story won't end underneath the rubble of some busted up nether realm castle. Because Johnny Cage flicks always have happy endings. Kronika said I would lead the new era's deadliest clan, but she made such promises to many, she could never keep them all. So I betrayed her before she could betray me. When Kronika Sands fused with my shadows, my ambitions grew. Why be a ruler of mortals when I could rule destiny itself? Mortals resisted, but could not stop my blanketing history in cold, endless night. All is dark. All are shadows. I have had many names. Now I am become death, destroyer of worlds. I conquered history like I conquered realms, merging billions of potential timelines into a singularity. The universe has been remade in my image, and all is as it should be. The weak serve the strong. The strong compete for power, wealth, and my favor in mortal combat. For centuries, the tournament's champion has gone undefeated. That champion is me! Hail the Conqueror! Hail Shao Kahn! <laughs> of course I defeated Kronika. And when I did, there was only one thing I wanted to do with the Hourglass. Undo the defeat of my ancestor, the Great Kung Lao. In my timeline, the Great Kung Lao is the undisputed Mortal Kombat champion. Earthrealm never loses another tournament. For generations, his example inspires millions to join the White Lotus Society and defend Earthrealm. They in turn inspire rebels to overthrow Shao Kahn in Outworld. The realms make peace. Until, inevitably, a more powerful enemy comes along and finds Earthrealm backed by Kung Lao, immortal lord of time and warrior supreme. Beat that, Liu Kang. None of us saw Kronika coming, not even Raiden. But with the hourglass, I can see every terror in the realms. Any sane person would run screaming at the sight of them. It's my duty to take out these ancient, all-powerful beings. But to do that, I need an elite squad of immortal gods. Turns out, to make a new god, you've got to destroy an old one. 
So I hunt the oldest I can find, an omni deity from a forgotten, unpronounceably named realm. It's the fight of my life, but I've got something this god doesn't. Family. In my past, these were the people who mattered most. Now, they're my god squad. My daughter, my brother in arms, my goddaughter. <sighs> yep, even Johnny. But only because Cassie insisted. And maybe I missed him a little. Just don't let him know that. Of all his daughters, Shao Kahn made me deadliest. He pulled me from the gutter, bound me to the blood code, made me fight for recognition. Perhaps he will commend me when I bind the blood code to the sands of time. Now a blood god, I demand more than Shao Kahn's recognition. I demand worship. I'll have temples, ministers, acolytes, prayers, and sacrifices. Rivers of blood shed in my name, purging heretics who dare to reject me. <laughs> How proud Shao Kahn is now. How proud and how obedient. For the only thing better than my master's recognition is to make him beg for mine. All will worship me, or there will be blood. Though I first denied their truth, eventually I realized the wisdom of Liu Kang's words. There is virtue greater than my mother's desired balance. Good must be allowed to flourish. But no matter how I reshaped time, rooting out evil proved impossible. Though freed from want, mortals still killed each other. Divided by realm and race, they easily justified their hate. Hubris, greed, envy. To appreciate my gifts, mortal sins must be cleansed. Which is why I baptize the realms with fire. For eons, mortals will battle evil, eventually achieving victory. And when they emerge from the darkness, they will be humbled, eager to embrace the light. Truth be told, it surprised me, putting down Kronika. <laughs> Not bad for a scrawny kid from Wicket. Now that it's done, now what? I don't cotton to being Lord of Time, stuck on some island at the edge of nowhere. No, Aaron Black likes being in the thick of it. Seems to me time ought to stay all mashed up. It's been a hell of a ride. Gotta keep these thrills coming. Which means making sure no one gets a chance to screw this up. Once the hourglass gets dumped in the sea of blood, ain't no one ever shaping history again. What happens next? <laughs> Hell if I know. And that's just the way I like it. As I gazed upon the hourglass, I knew what I must do. Restore my homeland Adinia to existence. Experiencing Adinia's verdant lands for the first time, I've never felt such joy. <laughs> but that joy was short-lived. Adinia's traditions, its languages, its culture, all were completely foreign, having been forbidden to me by Shao Kahn. I fit in with my people no better than a Tarkatan. The truth was hard. Though Adinian by blood, I am not an Adinian. I am an outworlder. 
Not only that, I am Outworld's Khan. I will use ancient Adinian teachings to make myself a better sovereign. With them, I will fulfill my life's mission to better all of Outworld's people, including Adinia. Kronika made big promises. Not big enough, though, for what my people suffered. Our hands built the Colosseum, the palace. We were slaves. We served or we died. Every coin I took from Shao Kahn's tribute, outward owed my people. Not that my Naknalan brothers and sisters joined arms to help me, no. Every great treasure I have won, I have won myself. I do not wait for handouts. I take what I desire. That is why I am now Khan. Nether Realm, Earth Realm, Order Realm, Chaos Realm. I want them all. And I will take them by right of mortal combat. <laughs> In her last moments, Kronika tried to tempt me. Spare her, and she would rewrite history. With Jade as my queen, I would rule an eternal Oshtek empire that spanned all the realms. But Kronika never understood the Oshtek heart. Our lives are cloth, woven from choice and circumstance. Pull even one thread, that cloth is torn asunder and made worthless. Now that I am tasked with keeping time, others beg me to have their histories rewritten. But as long as the hourglass is mine, I will not shape destiny in any one being's favor. History will play out as determined by its players. Let the sands fall where they may. Sub-Zero dismissed me. Raiden dismissed me. They all did, even Kronika. Until I froze the smug looks off all their faces and became the Lin Kuei's new Grand Master. The Hourglass offers even greater prospects. With it, I'll mold history to carve my name on everyone's lips. But even its power has limits. My vision can be upended by people's individual choices. Unlike Kronika, I won't let these imperfections fester until time itself must be restarted. The Lin Kuei will be my time warriors. Traveling through history, they'll get rid of those whose actions threaten my vision. From now on, no one will overlook my greatness. I'll never be dismissed again. Kronika's power was mine. Mine to share with the tribe. In the new timeline I built, Tarkatans would be slaves no more. We would rule. We easily took Adelia, then Outworld and the Netherrealm. Last, we challenged Earthrealm in mortal combat. Within a thousand years, all realms fell to Tarkatan blades, and we have not run out of meat since. <laughs> Kronika's endless cycle of rewinding and restarting timelines had destroyed my spirit. But she refused to grant me either freedom or death. So I took her power to do what she could not. I would create one final perfect timeline. Then I would rest. But the task was more difficult than I imagined. Mortals refused to follow the paths I set for them. Timeline after timeline, my frustration grew. I began to understand why Kronika had been driven to madness. 
Perhaps mortals do not need a Lord of Time. I will sacrifice my body and my mantle to re-sculpt the sand so that the hourglass runs itself. And for the first time in all eternity, I can rest in peace. For the second time in my life, I kicked the living shit out of an immortal. My prize? The hourglass. Now I can change history. Talk about redonkulous cosmic power. But despite what you may think about Beverly Hills Girls, that is so not my style. The chosen one thing is for the Liu Kangs and Katanas of the world. In the next timeline, all I want is to be a model soldier, to command the next generation of special forces. We were born to defend Earthrealm. Just like the heroes that inspired me. My parents. Okay, so there's one more thing I want. My mom back. Not just for me, but for Dad. He and my mom deserve a happily ever after retirement. <laughs> we'll never know how different things were the last time around. But we'll be together. A family. And that's all that matters. All I wanted was to fix my life. Now I have the power to fix history. Raiden warns me, I can't fix everything. Change too much and I could lose Vera. Lose Jackie. But this power is bigger than us. If I think only about helping myself, what kind of officer am I? What kind of man? I've been lucky. My family and I have lived the American dream. But most people who look like me haven't had that chance. I owe it to them to put things right. And I'm not waiting centuries for people to get woke when I've got the power to speed things up. I don't get it right the first time, or the second, or even the third. But eventually, I knock it out of the damn park. My family's back. The world's a better place for everyone. Turns out, you can have everything. Anyone who says you can't needs to dream bigger. Shit sounds cool, right? The power to control time, immortality, destiny. Well, let me tell you, this job sucks. There's no pay, no weekends, and your shift lasts forever. The only smart play is to turn back time and give it back to Kronika. Bet your ass she's grateful, too. I didn't ask her for much. Just a chance to take out anyone who's ever tried to burn me. Black Dragon was always more of a gig than a brotherhood anyway. Now I get to live large, enjoying the simple life of a well-to-do family man. And if Shao Kahn or Shinnok ever come knocking, my family and I'll take them down. Just like I took down Shinnok's mom. <laughs> I'd cut a lot of deals, but none spiffier than this. I spared Kronika, and she gave up the hourglass. The power to shape time and history to my liking? Oh, fuck yeah. In the having, it was in the getting. So, I changed things up one more time. Now, what I want is always just out of reach. I gotta earn it. I score lots of wins, but not always. And when I do win, <laughs> it's something to savor. The hourglass was there for the taking, and I could think of only one thing. Dad. Killed. Made a revenant. 
resurrected. Since coming back, Dad's never forgotten the things he did for Quan Chi. I thought with the hourglass, I could fix all that. And I can. Dad won't die in that massacre. He'll never be a revenant. But turns out, what my guts told me since the start of all of this is true. Dad and Mom got together when he was in treatment. He doesn't suffer. They don't meet. And I'll never be born. And you know what? I'm good with that. I'm not just protecting Dad. I'm protecting everyone he'll risk his life to save. In my shoes, it's what he would do. It's what a Briggs does. I know you'll never hear this, but... Goodbye, Dad. I love you. I held the power to shape time and destiny, but I was lost. Which Khan should be restored? My lover Kotal, or my loyal friend Katana? I heard Kotal's voice call out to me. Follow your heart, Jade. So I let my heart lead, and it took me to an unexpected place. A faint memory of home and... my mother. I restored my parents in Adenia, building a new era without Shao Kahn. And what a happy childhood I enjoyed. But as I matured, I sensed that I was no ordinary child. Kronika's power dwelled within me, calling me to a higher purpose. When I came of age, I ascended to godhood as the protector of Adenia. Armed with the knowledge of past timelines, I challenged Shinnok and Cetrion. Without Kronika's children pitting the realms against each other, all could be at peace, and remain so under my watchful eyes. Vermin. That is the humanoid word for the chitin and our fellow insectoids. But with the hourglass, this one can review history and give lie to that myth. Humanoids live to kill. Without a common enemy to fight, they divide, destroy each other. Insectoids live to survive. No conflicts divide us. We build upon each other. Kin does not kill kin. So tell this one. Who are the vermin? Time for this one to write a more just history. One in which pesky humanoids finally take the places they deserve. Scrambling beneath our feet.